fstoppers.com has teamed up with Mike Kelly to produce Where Art Meets Architecture 2. It covers everything you need to know about photographing and editing luxury properties, and this is the behind-the-scenes series. To learn more about the full tutorial, head over to fstoppers.com slash store. The next house for us to photograph and live in was up in the Beverly Hills. See this view coming up? (laughs) Oh my gosh. That's pretty awesome. We have arrived. Look at this insane view. Oh my gosh. Here's what I remember from the pictures. So take a look at this bathroom, guys. Here's the toilet, there's the shower, and there's tons of rich people's houses. (laughs) You can just look right in here. That's so crazy. You gonna take a shower in here? Sure. <laughs> 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 hey, Mike. Yep. There's another swing right here. It goes up to there. Why don't you test it first to see if it's safe? Well, you it have looks to do. like a wakeboarding handle. Yeah, that's a kiteboarding handle, actually. Okay, then you're the kiteboarding ex- expert. Why well, don't you, you get on there? And right. But you're, you used to be an extreme athlete. Yeah, but you know, you're familiar with this equipment. Uh, Why don't you test it out? David will do it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is crazy. Look at how frayed that rope is. Well, you shouldn't would, be that, alive. That would have been a good, <laughs> good behind the scenes. <laughs> yes, it would have. Do it, Lee. Come on, we're waiting. Swing out for like a foot. Do it. I'm not gonna. I, this is just to test the strength of the rope. Oh man, I can feel it. I can feel it. Like, against the. <laughs> Oh, I see. Oh my God! How afraid is it? It looks like it, 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 this is like a cartoon, like Wiley e. Coyote. <laughs> <laughs> I totally would do it. You've seen me do other scary things. Patrick wouldn't do the bungee jumping. I did the bungee jumping. That rope is frayed, like Mike said, like Wiley e. Coyote. <laughs> it's a little too perfect of a fray. I'm not. I'm not gonna do a big swing on that. We just spent like an hour and a half deciding where to shoot Mike Kelly's gear section. And we finally have all the time-lapse cameras running. I think we have like four cameras going. We got David down here with another one. And uh, we wanted to make sure we got this incredible view in the shot. On top of this, I have a Arca Swiss cube, the C1 cube head. This is basically the Bentley or Rolls Royce of tripod heads. This is a geared head, which allows me to make fine adjustments to the camera without inducing the sag that most all ball heads have. If you have a ball head, you'll probably realize that when you tighten it down, the camera always lurches or sags a bit after you've made your final adjustments. A geared head does not do that, and it allows you to make very precise adjustments in both directions without that sag. So I believe we have a guest. Dylan Patrick! Dylan Patrick is an amazing headshot photographer out of LA and New York. And just a couple of years ago, we teamed up with him to create this cinematic headshot. It's a full-length photography tutorial on Dylan's signature style. And of course, you can learn more at fstoppers.com slash store. Yo, Mike, what's going on? What's up? Thought I heard a motorcycle. 
How's it going, man? How are you? Good to see you. I didn't know you were heading up here. Yeah. Just because Dylan's never heard it, will you tell him the four T's of <laughs> of architectural <laughs> okay. photography? Walk out. <laughs> no. <Bye>. No. <laughs> he wants to hear the four I'm T's. Like, like, a reality I'm television to... show, and no, I'm, I'm like on the, the edge of my seat. Yeah, he like, wants to I'm know what's going on, Mike. Side. Where are you going, bro? <laughs> so, so Mike has been teaching more classes recently. Right. He made up these four T's of like. Every job I do, I do these four T's. And he was like, guys, we're gonna, we're gonna put the four T's in this it's tutorial. Good, so we were like, okay, cool, what's the four T's? And he was like, well, I gotta ch check my notes. And I was like, well, if you can't even remember it, how how is the rest of the people gonna remember it? Hold on, but you haven't told everybody at home what the four T's are yet. You translate the architecture from a three-dimensional medium into a two-dimensional medium. You okay. transform the composition with furniture placement, you dramatize it with light, okay? And then I can't remember the rest. <laughs> That's the thing. Do you think the four T's are gonna make it to this tutorial? See, the thing, like, it makes sense in, like, a textbook, but now that you've made fun of it, like, I see the ridiculousness of it. So, <laughs> so today, words, we are going to transform the, words. the architecture oh, so like into like what the architect right. wanted. We could translate right. what the architect <laughs> saw and wanted, uh, or, or we could that. transcend <laughs> what the architect Adam wanted like, we're gonna and give him see, an even better thing. Like, like, or, transport the gear yeah. to the shoot. <laughs> <laughs> What, what, what's... And then you have to transition into your photography clothes. You have to... And then you have to transfer the memory card from the computer. You have to transduce the energy by clicking the button and mm. sending... Mm. Oh, that's a good We're one. at like 16 T's now. <laughs> I, I could never teach that. I gotta write them all down. Let, let's go actually transition into, into work. Into work <laughs> instead of wasting yeah. time. Transylvania. Mike is currently taking a picture out this way towards the sun and he needs somebody swinging on the swing and it's very difficult to actually like kick push yourself as you can see by David's flailing it's so tall it's very hard to do it so I am going to push David This lesson so hectic. We have Lee pushing David on swing. We have all these cameras unmanned. We have Dylan Patrick over here helping us light. Sun setting. It's like the most chaotic shoot yet, but I'm hoping this turns out really well. In order to keep everything consistent, I'm shooting David at the same exposure as the rest of the scene. Right now I'm at 1 100th F13 ISO 320. And as you can see from these shots, everything behind David is completely blown out, but I just love the mood of this shot. Some people might think I'm gonna go crazy bracketing exposures here and put it together in HDR, but I don't wanna do that. What I wanna do is go into my sky library. I maintain a library of thousands of skies taking them at all different times of day of all different types of clouds from all over the world. I'm gonna pick a sky that I like that fits the scene that was shot at the same time of day with a bit of cloud and a bit of drama, and I'm gonna drop that in right over this flat sky that we have here today. So I've just climbed up this hill where one of my time lapses is shooting uh, the shot of downtown LA, which you can't see from up here. And then here's camera two. This one's just uh, a wider shot of the, uh, of the city. And uh, it's kind of getting the ocean towards the west. I have another camera over here, which is shooting an even wider shot of the city from just a completely different vantage point. And then I have one more time lapse behind me. The sun has now gone down and this place looks amazing at sunset. Get back up so you can see the house with the background of LA here. How wild that is. Okay guys, so what we're gonna work on right now is shooting a twilight scene in a bedroom. One thing I see a lot of photographers do that I think they could improve on is when they shoot scenes with amazing views, they tend to spend too much time and energy focusing on the interior rather than the exterior. And rather than try to bring in the view using Photoshop, I'm gonna actually zoom in and use a 45 millimeter lens, a bit longer than usual, to make that view seem larger than life.
Mike and I have been busting our butts trying to get this lesson done in like a very quick time span with the light setting. Mike's exhausted. Let's go see what Dylan, Patrick, and Lee are doing. Oh, there you guys are. Working hard. We're working different, you know. You were, That's definitely different. You were working on the project and we're making sure everybody's comfortable we're and doing warm. doing caveman things here. The next day, my wife happened to be in town, so we decided to have a little fun. We are currently at Six Flags here in LA. Pie's coming out, Dylan Patrick's coming out, Mike Kelly's coming out, my wife Katie is coming out. She's super Don't pumped, right Katie? No. Katie doesn't like roller coasters yet. Katie? I had a great time, Patrick had a great time, Dylan had a great time, Mike had a great time, Pie had a great time, but Katie did not have such a great time. I think you had fun. <laughs> High five. I think you had a blast. To learn more about this full photography tutorial, head over to fstoppers.com slash store and stay tuned for next week's episode when Patrick breaks Mike's rib. Who T-boned me? I think it was you. Hey, I could do it. Patrick it's me. No, I I Patrick, I broke Patrick rib. was the one. I couldn't breathe for like three laps. <laughs> I think you spun him out and then I just went bam.